guys, I'm freaked. So for this video, I'm doing... <laughs> I'm doing my tattoo video and their meaning. I've gotten loads of requests to do this and I'm sorry, I've done it on a few lives before but obviously you can't go back and watch that because it's not saved. I understand how live works. I'm gonna give a little life update as well. I just feel like, oh guys, it's too hot in here. I'm actually, why am I freaking the fuck out? So obviously I've just moved into a new house. That's why the background's different. I'm in my new room. I have my 1916 Rising poster up here for when I have lovers over and I can say, do you know what this is? And if they don't, they can get out. It's gonna be really awkward when the Protestant I'm texting comes over but we'll see. Okay, so little life update. Reese is coming home on Saturday, thank God. Oh my God, that's tomorrow. <gasps> Oh, Jesus, thank fucking God. It's been so long. What else has happened? Oh yeah, I went to a session at the canal. Loads of people had questions, like my own friends had questions about the witch mode video with the sex list, right? I'm not gonna deny or confirm if any of them have come true. But I did that video as a total joke But then one of my friends asked me if a particular person was on it And she was like, I think he thinks that he's on the list So now I just feel like a fucking sex pest That anytime I'm gonna talk to someone They're gonna think of that video and say Maybe I'm on the sex list Maybe Keelan's tr this is Keelan trying to have sex with me So I did it to myself Because I did get a text off a witch being like Careful of sex magic because it can fuck your life up And now I'm, I'm absolutely paranoid out of my head But I did it at the time as like a joke Being like, I'm fine after my breakup It worked out for the best though Oh, and also, if you're wondering why I have so much makeup on, it's because I'm finally emotionally available. <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like, fuck, I've made it. Oh, yeah. So, the absolute worst thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life happened last week. Right, so I'm obviously packing my shit. My life is chaos. I'm moving out of my home. I'm packing all my bedroom up. I'm looking at all memories. I'm going through the run of the emotions. And then I realise, Keelan, it's your goddaughter's birthday. You're gonna have to get her a present. So, obviously, because I'm moving out of my house, me, my dad and my stepmom are all drinking every night after dinner. We're having the chats and it's a good buzz. We're not getting drunk, but, like, we're drinking wine, you know? We're enjoying ourselves. So, I go upstairs then one night after dinner. I was like, okay, I'm, and I was planning the presents I was gonna get her in my head for weeks. I was literally going through it, asking my stepmom, putting it on my close friend's story, like asking people, do you think I should get her this? Like fully thinking about it. Cause she's only like six or seven. Anyway, I should probably know her birthday, but fully don't. She lives in Galway anyway, so I don't really see her that often. So I go into Smith's Toys then one night after dinner. I obviously a bit tipsy. And I have a Smith's Toys account because at the start of quarantine, I bought my ex-boyfriend a PS4. Now we were together at the time. I wasn't buying him expensive gifts after we broke up. I did buy him a PS4 at the start of quarantine because I was like, oh my God, you have nothing to do here. Let's not talk about it. My Smith's Toys account was registered in his address. Okay, let's just keep that in mind. I was buying my goddaughter her presents. I hadn't logged in to my account and it was like, check out his guest or log in, register. So I was like, oh, I might as well just log in so it's quicker. Bit tipsy. Anyway, so then it comes up uh, my ex's name and his address and I was like, better change that, Keelan. Imagine, oh my God, imagine the trauma of that getting sent to his house. Just wait. No, 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 that's fine. Sent it off, paid the money grand. Bought her a big pink scooter, coloring book, sticker book, the whole works, the whole shebang. Guys, say nothing. So then, didn't think much of it. And I just like a, a little disclaimer. If you're ever gonna manifest a text off your ex, make sure you're specific about what it's gonna be because I get this text off my ex. Hey, did you order a scooter to my house by any chance? <laughs> I sent it to my fucking ex-boyfriend's house. <laughs> Oh my god, it has to be the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. I, I immediately replied, I was like, fuck, 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 I'm so sorry. Because I just, I don't care what he thinks about me, clearly, like it's fine. He's gonna call me a psycho regardless of what I do, so. I'm just thinking his parents answering the door being like, what the fuck's going on? And then I called my sister, I'm fucking panicking. Luckily, my cousin actually lives in Galway and it, my ex lives in Galway, so it was in the same county, thank god. Call my sister, Ellie, you'll never guess what I did. You sent the scooter to your ex's house. I was like, how did you know? He put it on a story. I was like, why didn't you fucking tell me. Obviously I, I hadn't seen the story so it was probably just up there for hours. Everyone who was on my close friends list knew who it was me who had accidentally sent it to his house. <sighs> so then I called on my cousins who live in Galway. They picked it up for me. Anyway it was fine. My goddaughter has the scooter now but I'll insert a video of me when I just found out when I got the text. Anyway I had to lie on my kitchen floor for half an hour crying to my stepmom. It has to be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. I'm a moron. I'm an actual idiot, is it? Yeah, always double check the address before you send things. It was humiliating. And then a week later, he was like, did you get her coloring books as well? I was like, honestly, just put them in the bin. I can't go through the trauma again. Cause it was the gag. I called my uncle, who's my goddaughter's dad. And I was like, you'll never guess what I fucking did. <laughs> and he was just like, you're a fool. And I was like, I know. And then I called my cousin. He went to go get it for me, which was like 45 minutes from his house. He had to fucking drive in and get it for me. I was gonna call him again and be like, could you actually go back and get a few coloring books? 
Oh, Scarlet. My goddaughter loves a scooter anyway, so it worked out for the best. I'd say my ex's family think I'm an, an absolute moronic freak. It's actually fantastic. It's fine, guys. My life's fun. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so tattoos. So the first tattoo I have is my half moon one. I'll insert a video of it here because I don't want to pull down my pants. It's on my hip. Me and my mom got matching ones on my 18th birthday. We got them in a random place in Temple Bar because we went into Dublin Inc. So expensive. Went into Dublin Inc. We all, literally all I wanted was an outline of a half moon and they were like, it's going to be like 120 euro. Obviously not. So didn't get it in there, went to some random place in Temple Bar. Your man proper engraved my skin, so it's still raised. If your tattoo is still raised, that means they went in too deep. So my half moon is still raised and it's still kind of itchy and sore sometimes. Not a good sign. Wouldn't recommend that place. Then the second tattoo I got is this one. It's a sweet pea flower. It was the flower at my mom's wedding and it's her favourite flower as well. So that's why I got that. I got that after I broke up with my second boyfriend. Because you know when you're like, glow up, I'm gonna get a tattoo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was drunk when I got this. And I still had tan, like crusty tan on and the guy was like, why didn't you shower before you came here? And I was like, sorry. But that's my second tattoo. I can't remember the order. I think this was my third one. Can't really remember. I got this last September. Not last September, December, September before that because I'm still working in Urban Outfitters. I got it in the Ink Factory. Oh yeah, I got this one in the Ink Factory by the way. I, oh yeah, that's what happened. I won a tattoo voucher. I won a tattoo voucher in a raffle. In a charity raffle. So that's why I got, I paid for that. Or was it this one I got the tattoo voucher? No, I think I paid for this one. Okay, anyway. So I saw this kind of like, I wanted two angels for Ellie and Searsha. So I just like carved it out, drew it out for him. I'm pretty sure I've seen this tattoo somewhere else before. Like I copied it and then just redrew it. And I wanted it much smaller. I actually wanted it here. I wanted it here the two across but he was like I can't do all the detail in that size so I just got it really big here and it wasn't that sore I but I don't find tattoos that sore I'm kind of into the pain yeah I'm, I'm kind of into it so I didn't find it that but it was a bit tickly when it got to the armpit part now third one I think it was my honey tattoo this one's probably my favorite I love this one I got this in Galway I actually got it the day after me and my third boyfriend said I love you to each other oh my god guys yeah so I was yeah I was on a love buzz I remember the time where I got this tattoo I was really really happy so I like I, that's probably why it's my favorite <sighs> Then, oh Jesus, I can't keep up. I feel like maybe my Clada one. This one from Christy in Galway Tattoos. I'm not sure where she works now. I think she works in Dublin Inc. But I'm not sure, obviously, because COVID, I don't know if any tattoo artists are working at the moment. But anyway, I wanted a Clada ring because I was like, oh, I'm always coming to Galway. I'm going to move to Galway. And then I got the earth in the middle of it because I love the earth. Heart eyes emoji, me and the earth. And then the next one I got was the girl power one. This one was also from Christy, except after I got it, I was picking at it a lot, so she had to do it over the second time, and tattooing over it the second time, <sighs> it was so sore. It was so painful. Next one, fuck, I actually can't remember. I got two together the next time, so firstly, I got this. This seems to be like the, the favourite of everyone I meet. Usually boys love this one. Fellas love this. It says fun time made in Ireland 1997. I'm, I think I saw like an old 90s rave poster. So I did Ireland 1997 because that's when I'm born, clearly. Yeah, if you want boys to like you, they seem to like this sort of thing. Uh, okay, next. At the same time, I got this one. This is James Kirwan's... Fuck, I can't. James Kieran is a graffiti artist from Dublin and he has those tags all over Dublin. So if you are if you see that face and you're like, that's really familiar, it's because it's spray painted basically like all over Dublin. And that particular one was spray painted outside Dublin Vintage Factory. So when, was it when I start, when I left working Dublin, in Dublin Vintage Factory, I have a picture of me standing in front of it. When I left Dublin Vintage Factory, I think I got that tattoo as like a memory because it was like the best job ever. So finally, and then the last two I got is this one. This one is because I... This is actually probably the funniest story one. So this is, yeah, if you think this looks familiar as well, it's the innocent smoothie thing, but just with devil horns and a devil tail. Because I got sent to All Together Now with Innocent Smoothie. I had to do like a few stories for them, being like, Innocent Smoothie or Saving the Planet. But Innocent Smoothie were actually bought over by Coca-Cola. 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 Like the biggest plastic promoter on the universe. So they're actually not good. They're not innocent at all. They make plastic. So I got that tattoo. And then the day I got it, Innocent Smoothie followed me on Instagram and I was so paranoid that they like, there was like a witch working in there so they must have known psychically I don't know but I was freaked then it's a great tattoo and a great story behind it and then this one this is not a drill one is actually the logo for Extinction Rebellion but I'm not actually sure if where I saw the TV thing I must have seen it on Pinterest or something so I don't know exactly where I saw the I got the idea with the TV inside of it and then I also have my own stick and poke one I'll insert a picture because I don't want to take my socks off is this bitch tattoo uh, I stick and poked it uh, when I first moved to Galway and I got a stick and poke set for absolutely no reason and the needles in it were actually really bad and then the company emailed me being like do you want to do an ad for us and I was like oh I just ignored it because I was like it's actually bad and I don't want to promote it really faded 
good and not good, but it's still there for life. Sorry. Why did I apologise? Um, I was actually, can't remember what I started it out as. I was actually just on my own. I think it was because I was sad because I had no friends in Galway when I first moved over. So I was just like giving myself a tattoo. So I was just like stabbing myself on my ankle. It, it started to make a, a kind of a ball shape. So I was actually genuinely going to tattoo a penis onto my ankle. But then I was like, ah, oh, do you know what, Keelan? That's not a good idea. So I just finished it off as a B instead and then wrote out the word bitch. There was no tracing or anything. I fully just freehand did it. That's why it's so crap. Yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I love all my tattoos and I'll, oh, I'll insert a picture of what I'm getting next. I drew this earlier and here's one I prepared earlier. I spilled candle wax all over my journal. I was doing some witchcraft. So this is a tattoo. I need, can't show my spells. This is a tattoo I drew earlier. I got the idea because there's a really nice YouTuber I watch called, I think her name's Purple Palace and she lives in Paris and she got this tattoo but w like with her boyfriend's name in it. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna get me in the middle of my heart because I love myself. And I'm also getting the episode of The Simpsons where Lisa Simpson's a stoner. I'm gonna get that tattoo. I think maybe on my leg. I also would like Earth Angel on my two thighs, like over my knees, because that's my OnlyFans name. I'd also like a witch tattoo somewhere on my legs. I don't have any tattoos on my legs, really, except for the ankle one, so I would like a few on my leg. I might get that Lisa Simpson one, like, on my calf or something. Actually, no, I'll get the Lisa one on my arms, because it's more like stupid tattoos. Uh, yeah, okay, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!